email them. Welcome back. Well, April is World Wish Month. <laughs> I thought we were going to hear a little bit of a, a video from Make-A-Wish. I thought we were going to play that here, so that's why we kind of paused. Billy <laughs> so Joe Zelensky, the president and CEO of our local Make-A-Wish uh, chapter, is here to talk about uh, what's happened almost 40 years ago that started this amazing movement across the nation. That also includes right here in North Dakota, and we want to talk about what they are doing for children with critical illnesses. Billy Joe, thank you so much for thank coming you. in. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Well, so that's quite the history, 40 years ago. I know. And you know, we've had Linda Pauling, who is Chris Gracious's mom, um, here in North Dakota a couple of times, and she still says, you know, it's been almost 40 years, but it just is amazing that one little boy his one wish to be a police officer has transformed mm -hmm. lives across the nation. I mean, and actually globally, it's a global movement now. Okay, and I think we do have that video from Make-A-Wish that we wanna watch real quick here. To a child battling a critical illness, a wish can feel like a dream. But with your help, it isn't out of reach. Wishes are an important part of medical treatment. A chance for kids to see themselves stronger, braver. To see that the impossible is possible. Wishes can give kids the strength to fight, to get better, to grow up. Where there's a wish, there's a way. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit more there at the end, the little boy who wanted to be a firefighter and then grew up to be a volunteer I know, firefighter? I know, and I think that that's what is so interesting about wishes, is that they can be um, an impetus for you to change the trajectory of your life and that also is a misperception that our kids are not thriving and surviving 15 years later to become a firefighter. Um, it's not to say that we don't lose kiddos, unfortunately we still do, but you know 40 years ago medicine was not as advanced as it is today and you know why we're celebrating World Wish Month and why this video is a part of our celebration is in, in honor of Chris Gracious. So April 29th 1980 is when this little boy had his wish come true to be a police officer and he still is the only honorary police officer in the Department of Public Safety history in Arizona wow. and there he is in his uniform I mean <clears throat> the the uniform shop that did the uniforms for the Arizona <laughs> Department of Public Safety created that little uniform for him overnight um, because he had just made such an impression on them when he toured the facility and got his airplane ride and um, he, he there he is with his honorary um, wow. yeah <laughs> uh, customs uniform and so you know he inspired a movement in his you know, he was diagnosed with leukemia at age four, four and a half. Um, the, the prognosis was that, you know, maybe three to four years. And as his mom, Linda, said, I vowed to make a lifetime in, uh, in those short years that we may have with him. And he did pass away shortly after this wish was granted. And our founding was founded by volunteers. Mm -hmm. So volunteers helped make that wish possible. And then they said, you know what, I bet there are a lot of kids out there who could use a wish like this. And I also want to say thanks to you and your industry because if the TV station down in Arizona wouldn't have aired that, that story would have been just a nice story that would have been really great for the caring people who made it happen. But because of that, there were people that are like, how do I get involved? How can we make a difference? And right here in North Dakota is how, you know, an AT&T operator, a couple insurance people and a, a banker said, we can make wishes come true in North Dakota too. That's how it started here in the state? Yes. <laughs> and since wow. then, since our inception in 1985, we've granted over 900 wishes wow. in North Dakota. 
and all volunteers. Mm. And it's a great time this week to talk about the volunteers and how crucial they are to your organization. Yeah, I, we can't we can't deliver our mission without volunteers. We have 150 across the state, but we still need more. Um, wish it, volunteers are a critical component. They, they go in and they are sometimes our first interaction with the family and they discover that one true wish of the child. Then they work, we work together to make that wish become a reality. But there's no way that our small and mighty team of seven could make wishes come true without them. So we want to say thank you to those volunteers who are part of, of you know, devo donating their time and talents to make so, a So, I mean, you watch that video and it just makes you want to volunteer. So how can people get a hold of you and help out? Yes, please give us a call at 701-280-9474 or go on our website at northdakota.wish.org. We have ways to help right on, on, on the landing page and quick application and... Uh, We'll give you some proper training so you feel that you're comfortable in, in, in working with our kiddos and or an event like Wine and Wishes that we had last Friday. However you want to help, board of directors, there are so many different ways to be involved with our mission. Billy Cho, thank you so much for what you do. And hopefully people will check that out and get involved as well. Thank you. Stay with us. Coming up, we're taking it way back to a time when vinyl was the only thing playing on the radio.